these grey days they really make it harder to actually get on with the work I really didn't feel like coming down today but a little bit often is better than one long hard slog so what can I do today? Well, there's always path to sieve, but there's a few beds that are still a mess. And there's some things which I don't think are worth leaving in. So I need to pull them up. Let's go see. Another job I desperately need to do is to cut back, trim and weed the flower bed that has the pond in. It just looks a mess. This bed had the dwarf French beans, the yellow ones. I think these have finished. And it's got my Swede, which are gradually growing big enough. So I just need to tidy this bed up and only take some stuff out. Now this is the bed that had my big butternut squash in. I've harvested those. Although, not all the plant is dead. I think there's the odd small button up there. So I'm going to leave it, despite it looks sad. I think the sad bits that, um, are from where I cut the stem. And of course it hasn't, doesn't feed anything that was beyond that. When I this is the flower bed just as you come into my plot. This is the first one. Again, it needs a really good weed, trim back, tidy up. I just have been concentrating on the beds with vegetables in, but I need to get round to this. Bed with the currants, the cherry tree, the tayberry, it all needs working on. It looks an utter mess. This is my shed roof and I need to refelt it because that top corner, it's all splitting where each of the, I don't know what you call them, the pins are, you know, it's just, it's looking like it won't last long. And both sides of the roof are bowed. So I'm not quite sure how I rescue that without replacing the whole roof. If you've got any ideas, let me know. So this is what I cut off of the plant. It's all the stuff that looked kind of dead. So, although this doesn't look pretty, it looks better. I still, over here, need to cut out those slightly dead bits. But apart from that, it looks okay. So I've worked on the uh, large butternut squash frames and I've cut out all of the stuff that looked like it was dead. I think it's where frost got um, to the plant. So I've cut that out and here's hoping the next few weeks won't have a frost and what's there might grow just a little bit more. We'll see. This is my plot neighbour, the site reps, pumpkins. You might only have two, but they're a pretty good size. I think his son is going to be very pleased with them. Well done to him. I am so fed up of getting bitten. Just because I took my jumper off and it's cloudy, I think I've got at least three bites already. Last time I got bitten down here, it took about four days for the itchiness to stop. Gah. This time of year, I think I just need to have long sleeved things on and a long top so that there's no gap at the middle. Oh well, I'm sure I'm not the only one who gets bitten. Bye for now. So these are the plant starts I bought a few weeks back. No, I didn't grow them. And I'm gonna put them into this bed, but most of this broccoli is past it. So I'm going to 
pull out most of it and replace it. There is 12 cabbages there. So those will go into here. So I changed my mind with the broccoli. After closer inspection, I might get a little bit more off of it. I'll show you what I've done. So I've taken all the dead leaves off, any leaves that have holes in. Um, I've still got this plant to do. So you can see how it's, you know, a bit messy. So you've got the yellowy leaves, you've got the leaves with the holes in that I've cut off. Also, some of the older leaves had these marks on them. And I don't know if they're eggs or what, but I've been cutting those leaves off as well. But when it keeps producing small broccoli fluets, then it's still worth keeping. So I'll have to find another bed to put the cabbage in. Okay, so there was whatever those spotty leaves were. There was a white fly. But I think this teaches me that I need to keep my brassicas in a cleaner condition. Take off the dead leaves. I think it's time to go and clean up another brassica bed. I don't think these ants liked me tidying and weeding. They're going everywhere. So I've decided on using this bed behind me for those brassica, you know, plug plants. I decided not to put them up the other end because at some point I need to plant my onion sets and my garlic. And I had onions in this bed behind me uh, this year. So that's why I'm going to put the brassicas in, because I don't want to put the onions in the same bed twice. So I will have to plant them in and then I will have to tie a net round, which takes a while with the cable ties, but it's worth it to protect them. Let's see how long this takes. So that's winter tundra on the right and tandoor on the left. Time to net them so that the birds don't attack them and let's hope they survive there they're netted not brilliantly but it will do for now let's see if they survive the slugs so this bed needs the lower leaves that have gone yellow or been nibbled too much taken off give it a bit better airflow So I was going to leave the brassica bed so that I've tidied up, uncovered, until I saw a white butterfly floating by, flittering. So I don't think it's quite late enough to uncover the brassicas. I don't want to get any late caterpillars. Maybe in a few weeks time I can uncover them. How about you? Have you still got cabbage whites fluttering around 